So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can install a creative menu mod for Power World. So I started a new series on the channel where I show you guys how to download certain mods that you might be having trouble with because some are more difficult to install than others. So if you have any mods you're having trouble with, then put them in the comments down below and I'll make a video on it. So this one is a creative menu mod where you're actually able to spawn in things like items or even pals, and you could even change the stats of the pals as well. So based on the screenshots, the UI for this mod does look really good. Now here's the thing. I personally did not download this mod yet. So this will be the first time of me downloading this mod. So I'm going to show you guys step by step what to do. And at the end of the video, we're going to test it out to see if the mod works. So you want to go to this website, nexusmod.com slash powerworld. That'll show you all the mods. But if you want to get to this exact mod, I will link it in the description down below. When you get to this page, you want to read the description area. This is most important because it'll give you the steps on how to download the mod. So if we go down a little bit, you can see how to install right here. Now, if you have the Xbox Game Pass on PC, then you would follow these instructions. But if you're like me and just using the regular Steam version, then you're gonna do the Steam version instructions. I'm on regular Steam, so we're gonna be doing the regular Steam version. Now, the instructions can look very overwhelming and confusing, so I'll try to explain it the best way I can. So we're gonna start from the beginning on what it says to do. So the first thing you wanna do is open up Steam. You wanna go to the library and you wanna go to Power World. You wanna right click it, you wanna go down to manage, and you want to go to browse local files. Then you're going to be led to this right here. So we can minimize Steam. We're going to minimize this for a second and we're going to go back to the instructions. So after you do what we said, open up Steam, manage, browse local files. Now you want to go to this directory right here, PAL, binaries, Win64. So we're going to do that, PAL, binaries, and Win64. You're going to be brought to this page right here. And if you don't have UE4SS downloaded, you are not going to see this down here and you are not going to see a mods folder. That's what you're going to have to add. So we're going to minimize this and you can see right here, it says install UE4SS. Now, if you already have this installed, you can skip this step and just fast forward straight to when I start installing the mod. This video will be timestamped to help you guys out. But if you don't have this installed, then this is how you would do it. So the first thing you want to do is click on this right here so you can download it. So once you click it, it's going to bring you to this page right here and then you're just going to scroll down until you get to this part right here where it says ue4 ss 3.0 0.1. If you have any older versions of this and it's not working, then you might have to download this new version right here and delete the old version. Once you do that, you want to click on it and it's going to download. Then you want to open up the file and you want to use a program like WinRAR. And this is a program that would help you extract the files that you download, or you can use any type of program where you can extract files. WinRAR is possibly my favorite one that I use. So I'm going to use that link to download that will be in the description down below. So once you do that, we're going to click on these two dots right here and you're going to see the folder right here. Now you can see I previously did the 3.0 version. Now I don't know if this is going to make a difference on my game, but we're going to try it out. So what you want to do is make sure you clicked on it. You want to go extract to, you want to hit okay. Once you do that, now we can go over to the regular folder section and you can see the 3.0.1 as a regular folder. You would click into it one time and this is where you can see the settings and the mod folder. So now when we open this back up in the same section we were in before, where you go to PAL binaries win 64, normally you would just highlight this and you would drag it on into this section. And then that step is done. You'll have the mods folder and you'll have the UE4 SS settings and all that stuff. We're going to go over that in a second. So if we go back to this page. Now we can hit the backspace so we can get back over here to the instructions. Now we already extracted the power world content into the right folder. Now it says adjust UE for SS settings I and I to have these values and you have to put the use you object array cache to false and console enable to one. So what that means in the same category. So pal binaries win 64. If we scroll down to the UE4 SS settings, you would double click on it and this will pop up right here. Then you want to scroll down until you see this right here. Be use you object array cache. Now by default, it's going to say true and you wanna change it to false, just like how I have it here. And then it says put console enable to one. Uh, so we're gonna to try to find that as well. So right here, it says console enabled, it is at zero. So we are gonna change that to one. Then when you're done with that, you wanna hit file and you wanna save it. Make sure you guys save it. Then we can X that out and we should be good to go on that. Now we're actually gonna install the mod itself once you already have the UE4SS already set up. So now what we can do is we can scroll back up. You wanna to go to files. And you're going to see two different files here. You're going to see a creative menu LUA and creative menu pack. 
And from what I'm seeing, you're going to need both of these downloaded. So we're going to start with the LUA version, the top one. So we're going to manually download it. Then you want to click download. Then you open it up in the WinWAR. Let's go back one. We're going to hit extract. We're going to hit OK. Once you extract it, now we can go over to the folder section. So we can see it right here, creative menu, LUA. Open it up one time. Then you would see this folder right here, creative menu. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the description. We're going to go down to the instructions. And for the LUA mod that we just downloaded, let's follow what it says. So download and unzip the creative mod LUA, which was what we just did. You want to drag that creative menu folder to the mods folder, which is located where you install the UE4SS. So we're going to open this back up, the page that we were on before with the mods folder that we put in and the UE4SS settings. So we're going to follow the instructions that it sets. So right now we're at binaries Win64. So we're just going to go off that. So right now it says binaries Win64 mods. Once you click and open the mods folder, this is where you're actually going to open, I mean, drag in the creative menu extracted folder. So we're going to drag that over. Once you do that, now the folder will be in your mods section. And then once you add the creative menu in the mod folder, you can open it up. You can go to scripts and then here you can go to creative menu config, which I'm assuming is the key bind to open up the menu which by default is F1. I'm just gonna keep that the same. So we're gonna X that out. We're gonna minimize this and we're gonna keep reading the instructions. So now that we installed that, now you need to install the pack mod. Pack mods are very easy. So you're gonna do wanna do the same thing. You're gonna scroll up, you're gonna go to file. Now you're gonna download the pack version down here. Manual download, you hit download. You wanna open it up. Let's go back one. We're gonna extract it. Once it's extracted, we go over to the folder side. All right, make sure we find the right folder, creative menu pack right here. We're gonna open that up. And then this is the pack right here. Then we minimize that. We go back to the description. We scroll down to the instructions for the installing the pack mod and just follow it. So download and unzip, which is what we just did. Then you wanna drag the creative menu pack into the Power World content packs and logic mod folder. They said, if you don't have a logic mod folder in here, you wanna create one and put the pack inside. And in the end, it's gonna look like this, Power World content packs, logic mods, and creative menu dot pack. So how that works is right now we're on the mod section. So up here, you wanna go and click to where it says pow. Then we follow the instructions. So you wanna to go to content, you wanna to go to packs. And if you don't have a logic mod folder, then you will have to make one. So you would just right click anywhere, hit new, create new folder, and then you'd wanna just name it logic mods. Once you do that, you would open it up and you would take the creative menu pack folder that we just extracted and we're gonna drag it into our logic mods folder. So all in all, the pathway would be like this, pow world, pow, content, packs, and then logic mod. Now I believe that is it and it should be good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch the game and hopefully this works with no problems. This will be my first time trying out this mod. So if I did everything correctly, this should work. Okay, we loaded up the game here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna start a new world because I don't want it to mess up my existing world. So I'm just gonna hit test mods, hit confirm. Uh, I don't think the settings really matter. We're just gonna hit okay and go into a, a brand new world. All right, now moment of truth. I hope I did everything right, but we're gonna test it out. So let's run out here. Now the default key bind is told to be F1, so Oh, it works. Okay, perfect. Now let's see how we actually spawn thing. Can we spawn it in or how does that work? So you could click on the palette you want. You can change the level of it. So like if I want it to be level 50, uh, do I want it to be a shiny version? Base health, I can put that like, I don't even know the highest I could put that at. Let me see. Wow, that is insane. All right, so let's do spawn. No, oh, we could do obtain or spawn. Let's do obtain because I don't want it to spawn in front of me and start attacking me. Oh, that is sick. Okay, so do we have it in our party? Yes. No way, it actually works. Now this mod, I'm not gonna use this mod in my regular, you know, game, single player game, but for like, you know, YouTube video purposes, this mod will come in. Oh, this is the boss. I just realized it. This is the boss and the boss pal. Oh man, that is, and it's a shiny version of it. So I think it's even bigger. So yeah, guys, if you did everything correctly and followed the steps, you would just hit F1. And then if you go to items as well, uh, you can do random items. Let me see. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All you have to do is click on it and it spawns in. That is insane. And they have so many options here. This is crazy. This is like a perfect sandbox mode to just like fool around and test things out and do whatever you want. And then I guess if you wanted to spawn a pal in front of us, how would that work? So we would just click it and then we would just hit spawn. And then I think they spawn in as a random pal. Wow. So they actually spawn in as a boss pal. And then if you were to attack them, they do fight you so this will be a perfect way to showcase or practice fights against boss pals on your own to see what their weaknesses are and all that stuff 
but yeah guys that is how you guys can download the creative menu mod hopefully this was helpful i feel like i rambled a little bit but hopefully i explained things good if you have any trouble or any questions, you can either add me on Discord, Simply Amazing YT. I prefer that way, so that way you guys can send me screenshots whenever you're having troubles of setting stuff up. Or you can just comment down below any concerns, and I'll try to answer them and help you guys out. But don't forget, if this video was helpful, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. It really helps out a lot for my videos and the channel. And let me know what mod you want me to do this type of video on next. Thank you guys for watching.